So in this episode, we are going to see how we can create the guards for the admin and what is actually guard and what they do, we will see in this episode. So with that, I am your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's first try to log in. So I will go to admin dash login and here we have everything but if i log in as the user credential not admin user the simple user credentials then i am logged in as a normal user but this is not we want we want a separate system login for the admin so let's just log out once more and go to admin dash login and let's now go to the sublime and here we have various things so let's just close everything else and this one also this one also and it's okay so now let's first go to app then http controller admin auth and now the login controller as we every time do let's open this authenticate users.php so i will just go from here and here let's go at the bottom you can see the guard function is giving auth guard and it's not having any parameter passed in this guard function because if no parameter is passed you have not defined what guard it is it will use the default guard and what guard it will just tell the laravel that you have to use that login system or the authentication system for particular user or particular model so let's first go to config file to understand this card and open this auth.php file you can see it's now giving the defaults as the guard of web that means the default guard guard is web okay so let's see where is this web if you scroll down you will find this web guard okay so this web guard is having driver of session that means this authentication system related to web guard is done via session system and providers is users so now we have to see where is the provider so scroll down here's the provider which provide the exact model name of the system you want to create you want to create the login system for okay and so we have to create one more card for our admin so let's just create this so make this here and i will say admin the guard name is admin and let's give the provider's name as admins because here it's using users so that's why i am using admins plural form okay now similarly we have to create one uh, more provider for admin because we have used that provider here admins so we have to create that admins provider so let's create that admins provider so i will say admins and now we have to provide the actual path of the uh, model of admin so it's inside model slash admin slash uh, admin so let's just verify so close this open app models not models only model admin and yeah admin okay so everything is good the capital letter small letter everything is good and Remember in the last to last episode when we are creating login system for the user for the front end, we are having difficulty because our model inside this model folder. So in that case, we have removed our model from this folder and moved it out of this folder and moved it inside this app folder. This is because the user model is defined in the auth.php file as app slash user 
I have not explained this thing on that episode because I don't want you to get confused. But because now it's time for understanding the guard. So now we can even again change all these things. So what I can do, I can here give model slash uh, admin, oops, not admin, user slash capital user. Okay, that means the user with a capital U. Okay, and as we have changed here, but our model is not available here. Let's just try to log in as a user, as a normal user. So I will go here, log in, and I will say bit fumes one, two, three, four, five, six. And yes, you can see now we have error because it's not found this user model. So let's just move again once more this model inside our model user folder so that every model is on one place. So that's good and close this and we have to change the namespace again. So model slash user. Okay, so let's close this once more. Refresh and yes, you can see now we are correctly logged in. So this is in this way the login works with the guard so we have created our guard for admin via this providers is here and next important thing is the reset password system and that will be again same we have to copy and paste it admins provider is user not admins and we will use the same table password reset table to reset the password of the admin okay so our guard is all set and we just have to give that guard in our login controller of admin section so copy this function here open app http controllers admin auth and login controller here we have to provide our guard so here I will say guard and now inside here I will give admin the guard name and we have used this auth here so we have to use it at the top and which is here okay so let's just try to log in so I will go to slash admin dash login try to log in with bitfumes at gmail.com one two three four five six and now sign in and you can see it's now giving credential does not match okay so let's just give some dummy data inside our admins table so i will open database go to block series database and admins table and here i will provide one name is Sarthar. email is um, let's use one another so I will say sarthak at gmail.com password here yeah. yeah here we have to use the hashed password so what I will do I will copy that password from here copy this paste it here so that's good and so we have given these things let's just call this thing so I will say here S A R T H A K at gmail.com one two three four five six login that means sign in now it's giving another error which says uh, valid credential must be instance of app model admin and admin so to overcome this problem we have to go to our model which is inside our app folder. So inside app, we will have this model folder and inside model folder, we will have this admin folder and admin model is here. So because we are using this model as the authentication system, so we have to make some changes here. Let's just open user model provided by the Laravel. And you can see firstly, it extends authenticable, not the normal model. So that's why we have to change this and we have to include these two things at the top. So instead of this, 
we have used this thing and now we don't need this because it's not extending that one okay and similarly use notice fickable same here and okay so now let's go refresh that page and yes you can see we are redirected to the user login why because when we are logging in as an admin you can see after logging in we are redirecting to slash home that means the home page of user but because we are not logged in as a user and we are trying to access the home page of the user we are redirecting back to login page so if i access slash home the user home you can see we are redirecting to login of the user so this is not true because we want to redirect to admin slash home okay so again once more admin dash login and sarthak at gmail.com one two three four five six and hit enter and you can see now we are logged in and we are redirecting to admin slash home because we have written here protected redirect to admin slash home okay so in the next episode we are going to talk about the middleware and other things don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram you can support me on patreon.com share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called laravel and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye